Hello, Master Tax here, and Happy New Year! Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the Tier 9 American Reward Heavy Tank. It is the Concept Wombie, although you can buy it for bonds. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy what you see, please don't forget to subscribe. So before we get into the action, I'll show you the crew and equipment that I've currently got on this tank. The crew on this tank are quite good. Arnie is my commander and they're all onto the fifth skill. It is my crew for my M5Y. The equipment I'm using in the special survivability slot is bounty vents. No bonus there. In the special firepower slot, I've got a vertical stabilizer and bounty rammer. On failed modifications, I have maxed this out so I get a permanent bonus of plus 3% of vehicle hit points and plus 1% engine power. Haven't fiddled with any other modifications. So now, let's have a look at it in action. Today I'm playing on Corellia. It's an assault mode and I'm on the attacking team. And I've got the 510 matchmaking. So I'm bottom tier today. So I want to head to the north and try and push in from the north. So this tank, I have to say, I think this tank is excellent and it's a must for everybody's garage. If you've played ranked battles, I think you can go into ranked battles and you can purchase this tank, but it does cost you 20,000 bonds. It's the only way to get it, but it is accessible to anybody that's played ranked battles. And I would definitely get this. This tank is a must for everybody's garage. So all the players that are after a 279A but just can't quite get the missions done, or are after a chieftain, Fear not, just if you've played ranked battles, get 20,000 bonds together, go into ranked battles and purchase this tank and you'll see what it's like playing an overpowered tank because this tank is excellent. The key things for me that makes this tank excellent, there is two of them. Firstly, it is your turret armour. You do have a weak spot, the cupola on the top, but it's set right far back. And it's a really hard target. As you can see, the rhinoceront here has missed it twice. And then the second thing on it, even though on paper the gun is just average, I seem to hit every time. It seems to work for me excellent, this gun. So here I am, see that sniper 704. And there you are, bottom plate from that distance. And that's how this tank plays for me all the time. So I'm just going to try another blind shot and he got taken out I think before I fired but it wouldn't have surprised us if I did manage to take him out. So this position that I've got, these bushes aren't great for camo for some reason. You do get spotted through these bushes and I could sit there all day but I want to make a move and what I've seen is there's an object 277 pushing through the middle. You shouldn't get away with that. And also, when you're on the attacking team, playing Assault on this map, the key position you want to get is D4. And if you have a tank at D4, spot the enemies that's defending the base. Your tank destroyers sitting on the hill can all get shots in and take them out. So if you are that person playing that key position, you do get lots of assistance, which is good for your XP. So I managed to get two shots into the 277 and I actually missed the shot. But he has been taken out. So now I'm going to try and push into the middle. It's not ideal doing it in a heavy tank. It's better in a medium or a light. But since nobody's doing it, I'm going to take it on myself to try and take that position. And I did get spotted. There's a shot from a T30 who missed. Then a TNH51 managed to bounce it. Fosh B, bounce that. I am lighting a lot of tanks up. And there's another shot from the Fosh B. He's actually firing gold and it's APCR and I managed to bounce that. So I've taken no damage but got nearly 1800 assistance. There's 2100 assistance. Another thing when you take the middle, you can't snipe the enemy players that's pushing along on the west. So I've managed to sneak a shot into that M46 pattern. So now I'm going to try and crest this ridge, see if I can spot anybody who's defending the base, camping at the back, which they should be doing. There's a TNH-51, 
and I've managed to get a shot into the T30 on the rear. I've taken a shot from the M46 pattern, but I have lit some tanks up and I am getting some assistance. Leopard 1 got a shot into us, but I have lit them up. So hopefully my teammates will get shots into these tanks and I'm just gonna pee around the corner to see if I can help stop the enemy pushing on that west flank. So I'll tell you a little bit about this tank now and I'll tell you about the gun, which I really like. It's a 110 millimeter gun. It has 258 millimeters of penetration, which is excellent, and 400 alpha damage. With my crew and equipment, I've got a reload of 8.73 seconds, which gives us a DPM of 2,748. And then I've got an aim time of 2.09, which isn't too bad, but it's not the greatest. And a dispersion of 0.34. But this gun doesn't act like it's got them stats. And on top of that, you do get shell velocity of 1,478 meters per second, which makes it excellent for sniping. Don't really have to give that much lead. Great for snapshots as well. And then you, on top of that, you get 10 degrees of gun depression, which just makes this gun all round excellent. So we're turning it around on this west flank now. It only looks like there's one tank up there. Can I get another shot? He's behind rocks. He pulls back, I might be able to sneak a shot in. There he is. Can I, he's behind rocks again. Come on, keep on pulling back. Doesn't look like I'll get the shot in, but I'm gonna push forward and then I'll be able to peek this corner and it is a T30 and I'll be able to get the assistance if I keep him lit up and he's pushing down into the little dip and I did manage to get a penetrating shot so I'm pulling back now and we've lost our teammates that were in the west being taken out there was a Fosh B at the back so it's a close battle at the moment so I'm just pulling back a little bit see if that T30 crests up and hopefully I can light them up and my teammates in the tank destroyers on the hill can get shots in. Looks like the Fosh 155 is going to make a move. Is he going to pull round this way onto the west? So the T30 is not stupid. Didn't push up. Knew he was spotted. So I'm going to relocate. See if I can peek the middle again. And while I do, I'll tell you about the armour you do get on this tank. So your hull armour, nothing special on paper, 130mm on the front, 120mm on the side which is great for side scraping, 80 on the rear, but you do really need to hide your hull on this tank. And then your turret, you get 250mm of armour on the front with a really small weak spot as I mentioned, then you get 110mm on the side, 100mm on the rear. But I do have to say, the frontal armour is excellent. You bou you'll bounce loads of shots playing this tank. And as you can see, I'm bottom tier and I've already bounced a lot of shots. So I've been cresting this ridge line again, sneaking a shot in and get plenty of assistance. But you can't do it too often because once they know you're there, they will pre-aim and wait for you. And I haven't been too bad. With my crew, not equipment, because my equipment isn't helping, apart from the vents, I suppose. But I do have a view range of 445 metres. And look at that snapshot into that Fosh Bay and managed to take him out. So pushing in against this rock, because that T-30 might be looking at us. I think he will be, he is. And there's a shot into his rear. He missed his shot. We're into the final two minutes now, so we're gonna have to get a move on. Can I get a shot into the T-30? It's just a little bit lower. Artillery's went in, and there's some more assistance for us. Can I finish him off? There's a shot into the T-30. Bit of a low roll, the Fosh should finish him, and he has. Three tanks left, so I'm gonna try and push up, and I'll tell you the last stat about this tank, and it's its mobility. And it's not too bad, but it's not the greatest. You get 45 kilometers an hour going forward and then in reverse you get 18 kilometers an hour which makes it really nice for playing them ridge lines so just pushing up i'm expecting the leopard to come out here but i was expecting wrong he hasn't he stayed put there's a chance i can still get round here and get some more damage in the 277 is pushing in but he has got a big reload 
So the leopard's pretty much on full health. One minute left. I pressed round the corner. If he goes high, I should be able to sneak a shot in. Come on, come on, keep on pushing. He's going low. Can I get a shot in here? Is he pushing in front of us? There he is. There's a shot into him. I'm going to try and ram him, stop him in his tracks, and take him out. Let's have a quick look at the stats. That was only a class 2 badge. That's how good this tank performs. And I got the kamikaze for ramming that leopard. Top of the tree for XP with a BSXP of 1290. Second for damage with 4317 damage. Just behind the chieftain. I made 51,000 credits plus 10,740 XP. That's due to playing a premium vehicle for tactical training. And an award for the first 50 HD which was at times five. So I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle. I hope you enjoyed it and found the information useful. If you did, please don't forget to like and comment. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. There's a little icon in the bottom left hand corner. Cheers.